Good afternoon, guys, girls, and everything in between and out with. Welcome back to Maverick Baking, and welcome back to another junk food review. Today we are talking about a brand new product. We are talking about the new Maltesers Biscuits. Now, honestly, I don't really see the point in these. Um, I kind of posted about this on Instagram a little while ago. If you're not following me, what are you doing? Go and follow me now and then come back. Thank you, much appreciated. I posted about these a few days ago because honestly, I can't really see how a Malteser in its natural state isn't already a biscuit. But it's fine. <laughs> you know, we've had Maltesers in many iterations over even just the past two years. We've had the Malteser buttons, which everyone went nuts for. We've had the Malteser teasers bars, which have been a kind of play on the ever popular celebrations teaser things, which are without question the best celebration. I will fight you if you disagree. <laughs> But this one really is a little bit baffling to me, personally, but let's not judge them till we taste them. So just what are the Maltesers biscuits? These are biscuits containing crisp honeycomb pieces coated in milk chocolate. And I'm not really sure if the whole thing is going to taste like just a big giant handheld Malteser instead of the kind of individual bite-sized ones, or if it's going to taste like Maltesers inside a normal biscuit. I don't really know. So let's get into them. If you are for any reason unfamiliar with Maltesers or it's just been a while since you had them, a Malteser is essentially just a tiny, tiny bite-sized malted honeycomb stuff coated in chocolate. Very, very popular here in the UK and probably the reason that Mars are refusing to stop making Malteser themed products. <laughs> Okie dokie. So we have these open and yeah. I can't help but feel like this might have benefited from a bit more thought to the design. You know, it does just kind of look like three of my Maltesers have melted together. It also does give me insect body vibes, you know, with the whole head, abdomen and thorax thing, which that could just be my brain though. <laughs> they look fine. They look fairly nondescript. They don't scream Maltesers, they don't scream honeycomb or any kind of flavor. They really could have done with some kind of decoration, but it's fine. So just to give you a close up, we have those three chocolatey bobbly bits and you're just your regular kind of crisscrossy pattern on the bottom. The chocolate has absolutely no shine to it, which is a little bit disappointing. It's very cloudy, very matte and very kind of soft and melting in my fingers. It does smell very strongly of honeycomb. I can't say it smells like Maltesers specifically, but it definitely has a honeycomb smell. Let's see what these Malteser biscuits are all about and see if they're worth your money. If I'm being honest, this feels like a bit of a pointless exercise on the part of everyone involved. Manufacturer, reviewer, viewer, everyone. <laughs> Let me just give you a close up of that inside if you can see it, I hope it focuses. You can see it's a kind of golden biscuit and it has a kind of fairly generous chocolate coating on the outside. The problem is it tastes absolutely nothing like Maltesers or any Malteser product for that matter. It's so generic, it's ridiculous. It doesn't taste like that lovely kind of creaminess that you get from the teaser bars or from the Malteser bunnies, which though it is usually very, very sweet, it's also very creamy and it's reminiscent of your kind of childhood memory of Maltesers, or if you're one of those people who sits and kind of sucks the chocolate off of Maltesers before you eat the biscuit. There's none of that here. This is just a super generic, bland, boring, oversweetened milk chocolate. The biscuit on the inside, half decent. If you gave this to me and said, here's a honeycomb biscuit, I'd be like, fine, thanks. The color's decent, the texture's decent, and it definitely has a kind of honeycomb flavor in it, whether that's a natural, or artificial honeycomb flavor, I'm not 100% certain. It doesn't have the texture of honeycomb, which is that lovely kind of densely crunchy, sticky kind of consistency. This is just kind of honeycomb flavored. It almost tastes like, and looks like, the kind of generic biscuit you would find in an own brand chocolate biscuit box at Christmas. You know, if you had to buy people at work something to say thank you for not screaming at you all year, <laughs> you would buy them a kind of three pound box of generic chocolate biscuits, put them in the kitchen and just wait for people to snack on them regularly with cups of tea. That is exactly what this is. It bears absolutely no resemblance to Maltesers whatsoever in its appearance, 
in its flavour, in its texture, it's just so departed from that, it's actually quite sickening. <laughs> if you're selling me these as a very cheap box of very cheap chocolate biscuits, I'd be quite happy. And these will go fantastically with a cup of tea, I have absolutely no doubt. But if you were selling these to me as Maltesers biscuits, girl, I want my money back because that is a joke. <laughs> Kindly speaking, for a second, there is a decent amount of biscuits in this packet. I believe the whole thing was only a pound or two, so the actual value isn't too shocking. This is definitely enough to kind of feed the family as a snack or for you to come back and forth if you live by yourself or if you live with one other person, this would definitely last more than one sitting, which is fine. That's what you want from a packet of biscuits. But when it has this big name branding that has a big name reputation to live up to, it's not doing so. And the attempt it has made is weak. For being bland, for being forgettable, for being a lie on the packaging, essentially, but for not being terrible, in flavour or texture, I'm going to give these Malteser biscuits a 2 out of 5. It might be quite scathing, but honestly, I expect so much more. When all the other Maltesers products are so good, the teaser bars, the bunnies, even the ice creams, everything Maltesers is usually involved in, the spread, the mini ones in the celebrations box, most people love Maltesers or at least have a kind of special care towards Maltesers, but these are a serious drop in standards, like a serious, serious drop in standards. And I do not recommend buying them whatsoever, even if you like a genetic chocolate biscuit. There are many better genetic chocolate biscuits out there. If you have had these Maltesers biscuits, do let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'm being a little bit too harsh or my expectations were too high, especially for such a cheap product. Let me know what you think though. Are they a bit of a waste of time or did you actually enjoy them? If something you did enjoy was today's review video, then don't forget to drop it a like on your way out and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to. It'd be nice to see you again. In the meantime, that's all I have time for today. I need to go make a cup of tea because that's the only thing these are good for and I will see you for the next one.